Got another question on the enthalpy and entropy topic, but before I start, I better just explain what's on the screen right now. So enthalpy and entropy questions can be uh, both topics on the same question. It can be just enthalpy or it can be just entropy. So I've created this really clever system to let you know what type of question it is. So if it's about enthalpy, I will underline the word enthalpy and I will give it an A in the note after the number. So this question is obviously about enthalpy. Um, and if the question's about entropy, I'll underline the entropy and put a B after the number instead. If the question's about both of them, I'll just won't bother underlining anything and I will won't bother with an A or a B. I hope that all makes sense and makes it easier for you to identify what type of question it's going to be. Okay, so as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video. So if you wanted to try it first, just click on the link and then just watch the video for the answers. So question kicks off with the definition. Lattice enthalpy is defined as the enthalpy change when one mole of an ionic lattice is formed from its gaseous ions. So first part of B, we've got to label up the born harbor cycle as per these labels here. I've just copied the table up to save me going backwards and forwards. So starting with this one here, so we're just looking at what's changed. So we're going from elements to the compound. So that's enth enthalpy change of formation. So that's letter F. So for this step now, we're going from elemental sodium to gaseous sodium. So that's the atomization of sodium. So that's process E. Half a mole of elemental oxygen to a single oxygen atom in the gas phase. So that is the atomization of oxygen, so it's letter D. This one here, we're going from gaseous sodium to gaseous sodium 1 plus ions, so that's the first ionization energy of sodium, option C. This one here, we're taking one of these electrons and we're putting it onto the gaseous oxygen atom to generate a gaseous oxygen 1 minus ion, so that's the first electron affinity of oxygen, which is A. So this step here is the second electron going on to the O minus ion, going to O2 minus, so that's the second electron affinity of oxygen, so that's option B. And finally, we're going from the gaseous ions to the solid lattice, so that's the lattice enthalpy, which is option G. So moving on to the calculation now, you can see I've pretty much done it, but I'll just explain the colours and what have you. So the numbers first, you'll see that I've just put the numbers in according to the enthalpy changes. I just want to pick out a couple of things. So you can see this one here, we'll have to double this one because the enthalpy change refers to one mole of the process, whereas in the cycle we've got two moles of sodium solid going to two moles of sodium gas. So that's double the atomization process for sodium, which is why we need to double that. And likewise, for the first ionization energy of sodium, we've got two moles of sodium gaseous atoms going to two moles of sodium one plus gaseous ions. And so that's double the first ionization energy, hence the two there. All the others are as per the definition, so we didn't need to touch them. The colors now, so we've got two roots. We've got the green root and we've got the complicated pink root. Hess's law says that the sum of the enthalpy changes in each root equal each other, which gives us that there. And then all we need to do now is just solve for the lattice enthalpy, which I've just kept the letter G for. So this bracket here comes out of 2106, so minus 414 equals that plus G. Take that over to the other side, flip it to sign, gives a lattice enthalpy of minus 2520 kilojoules per mole. Moving on to part C now, so if we think about the ions that make up each lattice, so magnesium sulfide's made from these, sodium oxide's made from these. So in terms of the positive ions first, so this versus this, the strongest attraction is going to be for the magnesium 2 plus ion. So think about the charge, 2 plus versus 1 plus. So we've got a greater charge in the magnesium ion and also radius, ionic radius more specifically, because these aren't atoms, remember. Um, the smaller the ionic radius, the greater the attraction. Magnesium has the smaller ionic radius of the two. So of the positive ions, the strongest attraction is from the magnesium two plus ion. 
Moving on to the negative ions, so S2 minus versus O2 minus. Well, it's got nothing to do with charge because they're both the same. Must be down to the ionic radius, which is the smaller of the two. It's actually the oxide ion. So in terms of negative ions, the oxide ion has the greater attraction. And that's why it's going to be difficult to predict whether the lattice entropy of magnesium sulfide is more or less exothermic than the sodium oxide. First part of the day is a little bit tricky, I think. So why would it be difficult to determine the lattice enthalpy of sodium carbonate using a similar bond harbour cycle? Well, it's all down to the fact that the carbonate ion contains more than one type of atom. So if you think about how the cycle would look, you would need to include the formation of a carbonate ion before you could then combine it with a gaseous sodium ion to make the lattice sodium carbonate. And obviously that's difficult. And finally, a born harbour cycle for the enthalpy change of solution of sodium carbonate. So we're told that it's exothermic. So the fact that it's exothermic means when you go from the solid lattice down to the aqueous ions, it keeps going down basically. If it was endothermic, it would kick up there. Okay, so anyway, that's how the cycle is meant to look. So I'll just explain how you can use that to calculate the lattice enthalpy. So again, it's Hess's law. We've got two routes to go from here to here. So you've got the green route. So how else could you go from here to here? You can go this way, the pink route. But notice that this arrow here is not going in the right direction for the route. So to go from here to here, that those are OK. But that one is in the wrong direction. So as an equation, it would look like that. So the lattice enthalpy, this green root here, is equal to the sum of the hydration enthalpies. Remember, that would need to be doubled because we've got two moles of sodium ions that would need to hydrate. So the sum of the hydration enthalpies minus, because that arrow is going in the wrong direction, minus the enthalpy change of solution for the sodium carbonate.